It started with a dream and a building site. By July the 14th, 1989, it was still a hole in the ground on the edge of Sheffield city centre. July the 14th, 1991, and the Don Valley Stadium is the focus of the 16th Universiada, the World Student Games. Hello, good evening from Sheffield. Tonight, this stadium will be a spectacular blaze of colour. The opening ceremony reaching its climax when Sheffield's own Helen Sharman, Britain's first astronaut, lights the flame of the Universiada, a flame that's travelled halfway round the world from the Winter Games in Sapporo, Japan. That's right. I mean, if I drop it now, there's going to be a lot of angry people, I think. But um, no, it's, it's something that I feel very honoured to do and I'm um, obviously very proud to be able to do it. And obviously Sheffield is... Um, it's my hometown, but it's not just that, it's that there's young people taking part in this and it's international. The cooperation that's been involved to get the Games to such a stage is, has been tremendous. I'm very happy to be a part of it. And how will the old heart be at 10 o'clock? Oh, I, I dare say I'm going to be pretty nervous. If I trip up on the way here, I'm not going to be very happy. What are you looking forward to? Oh, very much so, yeah. As the flame completed its journey to Yorkshire, so the athletes arrived. 5,000 young men and women for an event that's second in size only to the Olympics, Britain's biggest sporting occasion for half a century. Over the next 10 days, they'll compete in 11 sports, some staged as far away as Lincoln and Bradford, most in Sheffield's brand new venues, purpose built for almost 150 million pounds, including, of course, this stadium, where the opening ceremony has attracted 25,000 people among them the patron of the 16th Universiada, the Princess Royal. And being successful, I think, is different to each individual. Um, for instance, the level of personal bests, never mind winning, is important to an event like that. And it really goes to show how much people have tried. Not everybody can win, and a very small minority are really going to win but an awful lot of them will do the best they've ever done. And that is a success in itself. Added to which, I, the business of being somewhere else, I hope they will notice that it's Sheffield they've been to and have time to appreciate Sheffield and the, and the people of Sheffield who are actually taking the time out to make sure that their sport is a success. And certainly the games have got off to the best possible start with a sellout crowd here at the Don Valley Stadium for the opening ceremony. A ceremony described for you now by John Hell. And so begins a vivid and spectacular story of Sheffield's history and future. More than 8,000 people will now feature in a ceremony the like of which has never been seen before in Britain. Forging the future with a distinctive and unique engraving, no doubt, made in Sheffield. Here are the steelworkers and the buffer girls with the tools of their trade, the anvils, the hammers. Over 1,000 costumes are being used in this performance. touch of irony here I suppose because it's the decline of the steel industry with 20,000 jobs lost in 10 years that led directly to these games which are seen as the catalyst of a new revolution sport and leisure figuring prominently in the regeneration of the city of Sheffield indeed this magnificent Don Valley Stadium is built on the site of an old steelworks
the focal point, a huge white rose. The petals begin to rise. A spectacular and fitting beginning to the 16th Universiade. The Don Valley Stadium now has a crucible. Smoke pouring into the air, a symbol of the City of Steel. no other stadium like this anywhere in Britain for such an occasion. The steelworkers and the buffer girls take their leave of us. The stadium already ringing with applause. there is less patriotism about the Universiade than there is the Olympic Games, for example. They don't even keep an official tally of the medals. It's a most colourful sight, however. Twelve-year-old Christopher Cookson of Lidget Middle School in Sheffield is all alone in the centre of the stadium. He's about to sound a message. Come and play. Let's see what happens. Twelve hundred children respond to the call. They're all coming out to play. The stadium is filled with children armed with the old favourite flags and balls and balloons.
stadium filled with the excited screams of schoolchildren. I'm sure you can imagine getting 1,200 children to do exactly what you want them to do can be pro problematical. The lady who got the job was Judy Chabola. She organised the opening and closing ceremonies at the Los Angeles Olympics. It looks like she's done a pretty good job here too. She's only commissioned in April and has had very few days to work with these 1,200 children from 46 different schools in Sheffield. This will be a day they will remember for the rest of their lives. And the children of Sheffield are the stars of the moment. A lot of proud mums and dads in the 25,000 crowd here in the Don Valley Stadium. What's more, they all look to be enjoying it. Choreographer from across the Atlantic will be proud of them. The wheels are formed. Four corners of the Don Valley Stadium. Balloons of all shapes, sizes, colours, and keep your eyes on the balloons.
and away they go. The Sheffield sky is filled with colourful balloons. It's certainly a night to live in the memory. One the city certainly will never forget. It's a marvellous sight here. And still to come, the entry of five and a half thousand competitors and the official lighting of the symbolic flame. Join us again after the break. Welcome back to the Don Valley Stadium for the entry of the five and a half thousand athletes and officials from around the world who've come to Sheffield cherishing hopes of helping to make these the greatest student games ever staged. The event has cost 21 million pounds to put on. There's a record entry of 111 countries. And now is the moment for Sheffield to welcome the world. Please welcome Athletes of Algeria. The first country in uh, Algeria led by Yusuf Mudia, a footballer. Australia, always great competitors, have one of the largest Next contingents here, exactly 150. They are the led by Brent Harding, Australia. one of their swimmers. There are 11 sports, by the way, ranging from athletics to volleyball, football to fencing. And there could well be world records set over the 12 days of competition. So as the countries march into the arena, we can pop outside where they're all gathering to join Nick. Well, John, teams from all over the world here with a long wait, some of them, and some of them, like the French, are amusing themselves. The Fiji Islands with one representative, it doesn't matter. That is the spirit of these games. One medal would do nicely and brought that lovely smile. And of course, not surprisingly, the medals have been struck here in Sheffield. Where better? And appearing under one flag for the first and time. And for the first games, time appearing the under the one German. flag, the unified Germany. The very first time at a major international event that East and West have come together. Somehow symbolic of these games. A great welcome from across the sea come the Irish. All in green. An Irish wave. 
still a lot of countries still to come into our view. Nick's talking to just a few of the competitors. Well, John, it takes all shapes and all sizes to compete in a major games like this. And my friend here is absolutely enormous. And what's your sport, sir? Basketball. I thought it might be. Now then, you're the, you're the chef to miss, John. Yeah. How important are these games for Turkey? To, to represent our country as a... Can I go now? You have to go. It's all right. Uh, to represent our country in, in this kind of major games is very important. Also for each country is the same. And what about this big crowd? You're looking forward to it? Yes, for... I think you better go. It's yes, your turn to stay you. Thank you. Thank you. And would you please now welcome to the Don Valley Stadium in Sheffield the team representing the student athletes of Great Britain. The most uproarious welcome patriotically has been reserved for Great Britain, led by the old English sheepdog. And the stadium rises as one to welcome the host nations team. It's a marvellous sight. It's the strongest team that Britain has ever fielded in the student games. 306 of them. They bow to the Princess Royal and flags will wave and flowers will be distributed. and a treasured moment in the city of Sheffield as flowers are presented to Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal. She will have enjoyed the evening immensely. The team certainly are enjoying it. It's a momentous evening in the history of the city. A royal evening indeed. Steve Backley carries the Union Jack, a former world record holder. He'll be expected to retain the title he won throwing the javelin two years ago in Duisburg. And a final curtsy, a final bow, and a royal wave. No doubt of approval and acclamation, and the student games have arrived in Sheffield. Students of the world are assembled in Sheffield in royal presence. A joyful night for so many. It's an inspiring sight and an inspiring night indeed for the city and its people, especially those who had faith in the student games even in those darkest moments over the past four years when it seemed that this night might never happen. It's happening now. And the city can be proud. And have you ever seen anything like that before?
really is a night to remember for everyone, a night to cherish. A night no one in Sheffield is ever likely to forget. dreams will be fulfilled over the course of the next 12 days many of these students will go on to become world famous in Olympic Games indeed the student games has had the reputation in recent times of producing world-class performers well records may indeed be broken over the next few days here and some of the names you will remember in years to come when they go on to create history in Commonwealth and Olympic competition. But still, the British team goes on its lap of honour. The Don Valley Stadium is filled with youth and excitement and hope. For these young people, the night could go on and on and on. The Nigerians are dancing. They applaud. And what a marvellous beginning it's been for the games which had so much doubt cast over them for so long. The doubt is gone. The games go on. And if this evening is the standard bearer for the 16th Universiad, Sheffield is in for a treat. really is the most astonishing scene and all credit to the organizers for pulling off a minor miracle they only started to put this show together in April it's astonishing that it's gone off so well and so memorably We have 111 nations gathered together in celebration. The organisers promised you ain't seen nothing like this before. I've never seen a Mexican wave as it was dubbed in Sheffield before. We've got one tonight and we've all sorts of memories. The evening has been rich in entertainment. And that is the Don Valley Stadium for the 16th Universiad. And it's a glittering sight on a quite spectacular night. for which the people of Sheffield have been waiting for four years. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, patron of the 16th Universiade, will now officially open the Games.
President. Sport is about interaction. Interaction between individuals, between competitors, those who help and inspire them, those who make it possible for them to compete, and those who watch them. And sport is about learning, the discipline of your chosen sport, learning to work with other people, and learning about yourself. Results aren't everything. Only you will know if you have done your best. Thousands of people in and around Sheffield have worked and will be working to provide the facilities and the backup you need to perform at your best. I hope you will all enjoy being part of the games. Well done Sheffield and good luck everyone. I now declare the 16th Universiade open. Sheffield welcomes the world and prepares to stage the greatest sporting event the country has ever seen. And the crowd rises in the city's tribute and the handover of the torch in a few moments will be to Helen Sharman. She stands and waits. The torch is held aloft. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Helen Sharman, Britain's first astronaut, who will accept the claim on behalf of the 16th University A huge roar of approval for Nick Cates, for Nicola Airy, and now for Britain's first astronaut, Helen Sharman, who is assigned the honour of lighting the flame. And what a fantastic few weeks it's been for the girl from Green Hill in Sheffield. Her parents are here, perhaps the proudest of all in this 25,000 crowd, and a moment, an awful moment, because the flame has gone out. Helen Sharman took a nudge there and she now runs around the track. The flame extinguished in the torch, but she was encouraged to continue her run. Her mind will be racing. Well, she must have gone through some nerve-wracking moments in space. And there indeed it were a few nerve-wracking seconds for the girl from Sheffield. Well, in any ceremony, there are bound to be some unscripted moments, and that was certainly the most unwanted moment of what has otherwise been a blemishless ceremony. And the question now is, how is she going to light the flame? That must surely be the first time ever in sporting history that a flame has gone out in that manner. The crowd try to lift the occasion again uh, and Helen Sharman as she makes her way under the spotlights towards the huge bowl. Well, what a moment of drama that was. A moment nobody in Sheffield would have wanted. Now we have to wait and see. Will the flame light? It will! It roars into action. The 16th Universiade is well and truly underway now. Despite that heart-wrenching moment, Helen Sharman has brought this glittering occasion to almost a conclusion. It's the brightest moment the city has enjoyed in years. And there are explosions and lasers 
around the Don Valley Stadium. And I'm sure this can be seen for miles around. It's a night for South Yorkshire to treasure. The choreography has been splendid. And now the pyrotechnics add to the glamour of the evening. The flame burns brightly. The lasers fill the sky. Well, it has a futuristic aspect about it as this evening, appropriately in view of the fact that it was an astronaut that lit the flame. And now the lights are dim, darkness all around. The Universiad symbol burns brightly, however, and the stadium in Sheffield is aglow in the most spectacular way. The hopes burn brightly here. And we have the most memorable sight many of us will ever witness. The five stars of Bisu are lit up on the hillside. And the mound has become a, a marvellous kaleidoscope. The evening has been superbly orchestrated and Sheffield can be proud of it. Universiad comes to Sheffield, the towers explode, the fireworks fill the night sky. It's an evening of glorious Technicolor. question it's the most spectacular opening there has ever been to an event in Great Britain There's more from the World Student Games tomorrow evening.